this is my GE refrigerator. This is the normal sound when the evaporator fan is on high, but sometimes it gives a howling sound, probably when the fan speed is lower. We have the uh, low voltage side up here and the AC is down here so you have to be careful about this part so you don't touch anything especially when you have it plugged in. The J2, the common terminal is uh, pin number 3 and then 4 is for the evaporator fan and if you want to check um, for the condenser motor this uh, should be number 5. Now I'm reading J3 and 4 which is the evaporator fan motor. I'm reading 10.46 under load and um, uh, when it is running in the medium fan speed I have to check again to make sure that it is not substantially below um, 8 volts. That could be the reason for the howling because if the voltage is too low the fan won't be running at the speed that it should run or the voltage coming out from those pins over here if they are not correct, then your, your fan speed won't be correct. And I had replaced the motherboard once, and I had also replaced the evaporator fan motor. The first time I had problem with this was the relays over here they clicked on stop and the components over here some of them were burned out some of the resistors here and maybe the cap was a little bulged so I replaced it and then everything worked fine and then um, now I seem to get like a howling problem from the evaporator fan motor and from what I gathered on the internet, um, a lot from Rick's appliance repair, he mentioned this J2 connector. This is uh, the power supply for the evaporator fan. And these two 2 ohm resistors here, if you see that they're burned, then chances are your fan motor is gone. It's uh, probably shorted out and and burn, burn up your, your power supply. So, so. I, I did that for some of the components and also for the evaporator fan uh, I checked out the uh, resistance between the different wires. So um, if you have a fan motor you don't know if it's good or bad, if it's shorted out or what, then you can uh, you can take a look at what I wrote down uh, this is a new motor and uh, let me just uh, check them out for you now. Um, it's a little difficult because I'm behind the camera here and basically uh, it's a three-speed 
motor or very speed motor and I'm not even sure if the lower speed is used but the white wire here is the uh, negative and the red wire here is the high speed okay so let me just set it I have done this already but uh, I'll just show you though so the white and the red wire is about 3.6 K and the uh, lower the resistance the higher speed the fan will will run so that's the red and the white and then you have the red and the blue the blue is 21k or so. so so I set it to 200k setting on the meter so it reads 21.3 oh okay now you see 21.3 and then uh, now I have the white and the yellow I have to set it to 200 mega ohm that would be about 11.6 mega ohm 11.6 mega ohm so those will be the value for your fan motor you can also of course apply a 12 volt voltage DC to this uh, this is the ground and the red would be the positive power wire 12 volt um, you, you, you'll see the motor turn or the white and the blue would be a lower speed and then the white and the yellow would be the lowest speed so that way you can tell if your motor is working or not and also you can measure the voltage on your power supply board you can do it on this connector here J2 this is the J2 connector and pin number three is the ground this side up here is the DC down here this uh, connector here is AC so don't touch this part if you have it plugged in into the refrigerator this is the DC side up here so pin number three on the J2 connector is a negative or common for all the DC side up here. If you put your uh, multimeter, set it on 20 volt DC, put your negative here, and pin number four, that's the evapor evaporator fan, you should get between 8 to 12 volt. And you sometimes you might get 4 to 12 volt, depending on your refrigerator. I think mine just have two speed or like a variable speed so pin 3 and 4 8 to 12 volt and between pin 3 and 8 is the fan supply voltage when mine is operating is about 13.4 13.5 volt if you don't get those voltages um, and then your board is, is not good then you have to replace the board well, if uh, if you get that and your your fan is not running good then you might have a short in, in the fan so I'm trying to do it the easy way just replace both of them because when you have a failing motor it can uh, it can damage your board when this is out of specs if it's shorted when water gets in draws too much current burns up your board then it's a bigger mess 
This one I got new at $91, I think, on eBay, or $89. The first one I got is about $60 something dollars, a refurbished one. When I looked at it inside the refrigerator, it, it looked good. Nothing was burnt out, so um, I won't have to replace it until until it's needed. These kinds of boards are, are in high demand because a lot of refrigerators use them.